For content warnings and links to all the written versions of these stories, please check the description below. I'll also link the videos to the stories too. This will be a ranking of all 10 of my classic retellings that I've released in the past few months. And first I want to explain why I'm doing this. So there's several reasons why I want to rank my stories. It gives a it gives me a visual representation of what really of how my stories are doing and the interest that each story gains and how to take that information to improve on how I advertise my stories in the future. It also gives me a chance to kind of promote some of the stories that aren't doing as well, as well as promoting stories that are, are doing quite well to make them even better. It's really to give all my stories a chance to really flourish as well as they should. So I have created a point system uh, for things that I'm calling interest points. This is how I will kind of find out how my stories are doing based on interest. So I will be looking at several different things. I'll be looking at the interactions on Twitter, especially um, clicks on links and detail expansions because that tells me that um, people have looked at my tweets and got access to stories from there, which means that the thumbnail and the tweet was strong enough to gain traction. I'll also be looking at likes and retweets on tweets, views on YouTube. Um, interaction will get two points for each link, five points for each like and retweet. Um, views on YouTube will gain ten points. This will, oh yeah, and the interact the inter interaction on Twitter will, I'll remove ten percent. I'll take away ten percent of the points gained from that for myself because some of the interactions are obviously going to be from me. So I've made myself 10 um, percent and I'm going to take that away. So for views on YouTube that'll be 10 points and this will be... I will look at the the viewing average of each video and finding a difference between 100 and that average and taking it away from the points. And the decimal points I'll be rounding up if it's over 5 and um, if it's under five points, I will round it down to the nearest whole number. Um, then I'll also do 15 points for each read on Wattpad, 20 points for each like on YouTube, minus 10 points for every dislike, um, and 25 points for each vote on Wattpad. No one has actually voted on any of my Wattpad stories as of yet, so I encourage you to even if you watch a video, to go to my Wattpad and vote for it, because it really does help out the story. And also for accompaniments, I will be doing the same sort of system, Twitter, YouTube, and WordPress, which is where they're from, and dividing that by the amount of um, elements there are. So if there is a story plus one accompaniment, I will be dividing the points from that accompaniment by two, and then three if there's three, and so on and so forth. Um, before I get started with this ranking, remember that you can subscribe to this video to support me, check out my cash app, donate to me to support me that way. You can also donate directly to my GoFundMe to help with my transition goals, and my commissions are still open. They are, you will find the email down below to find more information about that. Now, on to the ranking. Number 10. The only story in this ranking with less than 50 interest points is The Pecking Order, released on the 13th of May 2021, and based on The Little Red Hen, collected by Mary Mapes Dodge in St. Nicholas Magazine, 1874. This is the shortest of my retellings, so far, and that might have an impact on why its interest is so low. I also think the thumbnail colour also makes an impact. It's difficult to see the icon. In the future, I'll make sure not to make them 
blend in as much. In the meantime, give this story some love. It's one of my favourites. I'm not just saying that because it's so loud on my list. Um, it has a strong plot and message, and I really like the character, the main character. At number nine, the most recent story on our ranking comes in ninth. It's titled The Sound of Bells Rings Through the Hearts of Sinners. It was published last week on the 29th of May 2021, and it's based on The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo, 1831. It's no surprise this story is so low down, it was just released, but the fact it's able to overtake an older story just shows that interest points is the best and probably only way to rank these stories. Regardless, I don't think I've finished with this story. I plan to release an accompaniment or two based on its connection to hidden disabilities and paganism versus Christianity. Um, check this story out if you want. You, I think, I think it has the strongest beginning of all of my stories so far. Number eight, coming in with seventy-eight interest points, is without restraint. Published on the 17th of April 2021 and based on The Light Princess by George MacDonald 1864. I think this story suffers from the same problem as having a thumbnail that's too simplified. The colours don't really pop and it doesn't say much about the story itself. I really like the main character of this story and I think this is another that may have an accompaniment down the line because of its connection to how people who are disabled really think about their disability. I definitely recommend checking this story out if you can. Number seven. At number seven we have How I Wonder What You Are. First published on the 29th of April 2021 and based on Twinkle Twinkle Little Star by Jane Taylor for Rhymes in the Nursery 1806. This is my first sci-fi story so far, telling a backstory to some alien characters that without a doubt will show up again in the future. I really like the way I was able to take a classic nursery rhyme and and turn it into a darker story. This story focuses on two characters who are both very similar but different, so if you like a story that's a little darker, this one is definitely for you. Number six. Just missing out on fifth place and a hundred interest points is The Horse Named Beavis, released on the 20th of May 2021, and based on the legendary hero Beavers of Hampton from the Middle Age Romance 1324. This story takes the legendary hero Beavers and turns him into a horse. This is my first take on the epic journey trope, and I really love how it turned out. Beavers is an interesting character who goes on an interesting journey involving giants and dragons. Um, definitely worth the read. Number five. In the fifth spot with 102 interest points, we have My Darker Story Yet, What's in the Dark, published on the 3rd of April 2021 and based on The Legend of the Boogeyman, originating from 1500s England with roots from several cultures. This story verges on almost being a spooky retelling, which I plan to make its own series come October in place of my 31 stories of October challenge which I've completed annually up until this year but I feel it works as a classic retelling and almost uh, lays the groundwork to spooky stories to come. It's definitely not for the faint of heart but if you enjoy a nice horror story this story is for you. Number four just missing out on our bronze placement is Hearts and Harpoons published on the 22nd March 2021 and based on Moby Dick All the Whale by Herman Melville 1851. 
This story features the first openly queer character in my retellings and is the first to gain over 150 interest points. It's one of my earliest stories, but it is definitely one of my best tellings. Telling a simplified tale of the original, I'm really glad it received as much love as it has. Out of all my stories, I think this thumbnail is probably the best, taking a more a satisfying deep blue colour palette that invokes the oceanic feel I was going for. This story is 100% worth the read, especially on a rainy day, if you want to add extra depth to the aesthetic. In third place, actually making it to the third place is You Can't See It, a story based on The Velveteen Rabbit by Marjorie Williams, 1922, and published on the 10th of April, 2021. This is my first story to come with an accompaniment, which delves deeper into the connection to puberty blockers. Without this accompaniment, this story would have placed sixth, but I feel it's almost fair considering how important of a story it is to talk about the entire trans community. It has a message that means a lot to me and also comes from the heart definitely check it out and it's a compliment to show your support to the community as a whole and to understand more about how puberty, puberty blockers can help trans youth. In second place, in silver place is A Dainty Dish, first published on the 14th of March 2021 and based on Singer Song of Sixpence from Gamma Gurton's Garland or the nursery Perinthius. This story is based on one of my favourite nursery rhymes and I think it hits the beats of the original story really well. A almost acting as an extension to the original tale, focusing on the key elements of the original story and really makes it clear what it's about. I'm so glad it's doing as well as it is and I really endorse checking it out if you if you want to and also check out the original rhyme if you haven't you won't regret it. And finally in first place is my first classic retelling Trail of Breadcrumbs released all the way back on the 7th of March 2021 and based on my favourite fairy tale, Hansel and Gretel by the Brothers Grimm, 1812. It makes sense that this story is the first to gain over 200 interest points. It has been around the longest, and is definitely a more recognisable, um, if not the most recognisable, retelling in the story so far. It's a story that started my series of retellings, and if it hadn't have been as successful, I may not have continued. So it's definitely deserving of its gold placement. This story has the same story beats as the original tale, but with a twist through each of them that makes this a refreshing and interesting take on the original story. It's certainly worth a read if you haven't given it one already. Remember to if you enjoy my stories, to go to Wattpad and vote on them, as this really helps to promote my stories to possible readers in the future. So that was a ranking of my first 10 stories. I do intend on updating this every 10 stories, um, every 10 original classic retellings, not spin-offs, but I will, I will include spin-offs in this series of retellings um so yeah subscribe to see more like this video um check out all the stories you'll find them in the description below on tuesday i'll be releasing the eighth chapter of i don't know from Cacopia. 
on Thursday I'll be releasing the ninth chapter of a donut from Cake Beer and on next Saturday I will be going back into my classic retellings. This really was a good break um, from writing after writing 10 weeks in a row. Um, maybe even 11 weeks in a row, I think I missed a week. But yeah, from writing 11 weeks in a row. And it will be based on Dr Foster, who we met in um, You Can't See It. So thank you for watching this um, video, subscribing to my channel and supporting me. Thank you. Bye.